In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the ESP32 CAM board and try a video streaming example with face recognition and detection. The ESP32 CAM is a very small camera module with a ESP32 S chip that costs less than $10. As a means of comparison, here's a regular ESP32 dev board. The ESP32 CAM features a NoV2640 2 megapixels camera, several GPIs to connect peripherals, and a micro SD card slot. Using a micro SD card can be useful to store images taken with a camera, or to store files to serve to clients. It's only compatible with micro SD cards up to 4 GB. This board doesn't come with a USB connector, so you need an FTDI programmer to upload code using the serial pins. So let's start building the camera web server. We'll be using Arduino IDE, so you need to make sure you have the latest ESP32 board add-on installed in your Arduino IDE. If you don't, you can follow this video that explains how to quickly install the ESP32 add-on. After that, in your Arduino IDE, go to File, Examples, ESP32, Camera, and open the Camera Web Server Sketch Example. This code should load. Don't upload the code yet. First, you need to insert your network credentials in these variables. Then, select the right camera module. In this case, we're using the AI Thinker module. So, comment all the other models and then comment this one. Now, the code is ready to be uploaded to your ESP32. Connect the ESP32 CAM board to your computer using an FTDI programmer. Follow this schematic diagram. Also, don't forget that GPIO0 needs to be connected to ground, so that you're able to upload code. After wiring the ESP32 to the FTDI programmer, you can upload the code. Go to Tools, Board, and select the ESP32 WROVER module. Go to Tools, Port, and select the COM port the ESP32 is connected to. In the Partition Scheme, select the option Huge APP. 3 MB no OTA. Having GPIO0 connect to ground, press the ESP32 CAM reset button to put it in flashing mode. Then click the Arduino ID upload button. After uploading the sketch, you need to disconnect GPIO0 from ground. Open the serial monitor at the baud rate of 115200. Press the ESP32 CAM onboard reset button. The ESP IP address should be printed in the serial monitor. Now you can access your camera streaming server on your local network. Open a browser and type the ESP32 CAM IP address. This page should load. Press the Start Streaming button to start the video streaming. You also have the option to take photos by clicking the Get Still button. This example doesn't save the photos, but you can modify it to use the onboard micro SD card to start the captured photos. There are also several camera settings that you can play with to adjust the image settings. Finally, you can do face recognition and detection. First, you need to enroll a new face. It will make several attempts to save the face. After enrolling a new user, it should detect the face later on. And that's it! Now you have your video streaming web server up and running with face detection and recognition, with the example from the library. For more details, full code and schematics, visit randomnerdtutorials.com or click the link in the video description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe!